everybody, I'm Dana Scheider, and in this video I'm going to talk about adding and subtracting using the number line. To understand this video, you'll already need to know what the number line is, so if you don't know what the number line is, you'll want to watch my previous video explaining the number line before you continue with this one. You'll also need to understand basic addition and subtraction. The number line is a really neat way of showing numbers visually, and it's perfect for adding and subtracting. In my last video, I explained that on the number line, numbers start at zero on the left and get bigger as you go from left to right. They also get smaller as you go from right to left. We're going to use these facts to get you started adding and subtracting on the number line. Let's start with addition. We'll take a problem, say 2 plus 3. This problem gives us a certain amount of information. We know we're going to be starting with 2 and adding 3. So that means we also know the answer is going to be more than 2, since 2 plus anything is going to be bigger than 2. So let's find 2 on the number line. Now, since we're looking for a number bigger than 2, we know we have to move to the right. How many to the right? 3. See here on the screen that by starting with 2, and moving 3 to the right, you end up with 5, which is the answer to 2 plus 3. Here's another example. Take 1 plus 6. Start by finding 1 on the number line. Then move 6 to the right. Remember, since you're adding, you're getting bigger, moving to the right on the number line. So when you do this, you end up with 7, which is the answer to 1 plus 6. Now let's move on to subtraction. We'll start using the example 8 minus 3. Just like with addition, we're going to start by finding the first number, 8, on the number line. With subtraction, though, the answer is going to be less than 8. So we'll be moving to the left instead of the right on the number line. See how when you start at 8 and move 3 to the left, you get 5. That's the answer to 8 minus 3. Let's try another one. Let's try 4 minus 4. First, find 4 on the number line. Then, find the number 4 less than 4, to the left of 4. That's 0, which is the answer to 4 minus 4. If you're familiar with basic addi addition and subtraction, you probably already could have solved these problems without the number line. But the number line can be a really good tool for visualizing more complicated problems, like 10 minus 5 plus 2. To do this, you're going to start with 10, just like we've been doing. The next thing you're going to do is to subtract 5 by moving 5 to the left, like we just said. But you're not done yet, you still have to add 2. So after moving 5 to the left, you're going to turn around and go 2 to the right. That gets you to 7, which is the answer to 10 minus 5 plus 2. So that's the basics of adding and subtracting using the number line. This will come in really handy in our next lesson where I'm going to explain negative numbers. I hope this has helped you understand how to add and subtract using the number line, but if you still have questions, please do post them in the comments section and I'll make sure to answer them. If this video has been helpful for you, please subscribe to my channel so you'll know when I post more videos that can help you with pre-algebra. Thanks for watching!